So you have been learning this stock trading strategy for some time, watching videos, reading books, and now you want to start trading. You want to start getting returns from what you learn. If you put a big amount of money on your trading accounts, you can potentially make big profits. But you know what? A big amount of money is not realistic for most people. And we'll explore all the scenarios and all the alternatives. Hi everyone, I'm Pedro and today I'm going to show you the realistic amount of money that you need to start trading stocks. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and click the alert notification. That way when I release more content like this, you will get notified. If you are here, it's because you want to start trading and you don't know how much money should you deposit on your stocks trading account. And if you are new to trading, my first advice for you is to focus on your education first. A lot of people come to the stock market wanting to make quick money and then they end up losing everything because they don't know what they are doing. And if that's your case, please invest on your education first. And you can start by subscribing to this channel and enable notifications. Next, the first thing that I want you to think about is how much money do you have available to trade. And remember, this money must be money that you can afford to lose if things go wrong. Also, when you trade with scared money, it will be a much bigger challenge for you to get good results. So don't rush and sell your car or your house to put that money on the stock market. There are brokers that allow you to deposit just $50, $100 and you can start trading with that. And let's dive into this. Before we get into how much do you need to start day trading, first you need to understand that there are legal minimums. And these minimums depend on whether you want to day trade, swing trade and where is your broker located. Let's start with day trading. If you want to day trade using a US broker trading real stocks, you need at least $25,000 on your account. That's the legal minimum. Because there's something called the PDT rule, and PDT stands for Pattern Day Trader. Well, you can day trade with less than $25,000 on your account, but you can only take 3 day trades within 5 working days, which is basically nothing. Otherwise, if you take more than those 3 day trades within 5 working days, you fall into the PDT rule and you need to have those $25,000. An alternative to US brokers are CFDs brokers. Since they are located outside of the United States, they don't fall under the PDT rule, meaning that you don't need a minimum of $25,000 to be able to day trade. But notice that you are not trading real stocks with this kind of brokers. CFDs brokers take the counterpart of your trades, but that's not necessarily bad if you choose a broker that it's under a strong regulator. Now, what about swing trading? If you want to swing trade, holding your trades from one day to the next one or during several days, there's no legal rule. You can just have whatever is the minimum deposit that your broker requires. Now, what's a good amount to start trading? In my opinion, a good amount to start is around $2,000 to $5,000 and some of you may also not have this kind of money but we'll get into that later. I think this is a good minimum for a few reasons. 1. You can have proper risk management, risking less money on every trade. 2. You can trade more stocks, meaning stocks with higher prices. And 3. It's much easier to control your emotions and follow your trading strategy when you are not risking a big percentage of your trading account. You'll notice that you'll perform much better when you are taking smaller risks and also losses are inevitable. You will always have them at some point. Before we get into some alternatives, let's talk about the small account challenges. Trading a small account is very challenging to avoid great losses, and when you take a big loss, you easily lose buying power and ultimately will not be able to trade until you deposit again. Instead of thinking about how much money you want to make, 
you should think how will you manage big drawdowns on your account when you get losses. And again, you will have losses, everybody has them. And that's one of the main things that make beginners blow their accounts because they are very small. When trades start to come against you, you get so nervous, so emotional and you will end up messing with your trades. You end up focusing on your money and not on the strategy. And when you have a decent account size, you are much more disciplined. You trade with the conservative position sizes and that will make you focus on the opportunity that appeared in the front of you and let the strategy edge work for you, not being afraid of a potential loss. Because what matters is not the result of any particular trade, but the long-term results after you take a good amount of trades. And from my experience, the less I risk on any trade, the better I perform. I don't mind having losses. I cut them early and I let my profits run. When you are able to focus on the quality of your trades and not on the dollar amount that you are risking, it will be much easier for you to focus on the process and not on the immediate return of any particular trade. So, what are the alternatives if you can only afford to fund a small account? You can start with paper trading, and this is valid either for people that can only fund a small account, as well as for people that are new into trading, even if you have plenty of money. A paper trading account, and there's a lot of people that don't know it's a demo account. It's an account that you can use to trade with fake money, it's like flying on a simulator or racing on a computer game. They are used to practice. Although you don't get any money when you win, you also don't lose any money when you take losses. By the way, if you open an account with Webull Broker using the link on the description of this video, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. And you just need to make a minimum deposit of $100. You can sell these stocks when you want and that can be a good way to get a boost on your first account balance. And meanwhile, while you are paper trading, you can save up to $2,000 to $5,000, which is already a good amount to start. You will practice and gain confidence on your strategy. You'll have a higher probability of making money. And then you can scale over time, you'll have your profits that increase your account value and you can still make regular deposits from your saving. That will make your account grow bigger much faster and potentially giving you higher returns. And that's also a reason why I always encourage the traders on my trading chatroom to start paper trading before they go real. Number 2. Use a broker that has fractional shares. Nowadays there are an increasing number of brokers where you can buy just a fraction of a share. So let's say that you want to buy a share that costs $200 and you only want to spend $100. You can buy just half a share. Trading fractions of shares is a good solution for people with small accounts. And there's a broker on the description of this video that allows you to trade fractional shares. You may want to check that one too. 3. Get funded. After you learn the right things, practice a lot, gain experience and start getting consistent results, you can apply for a funded account. There are several prop firms that are willing to fund accounts to traders that don't have or don't want to use their own money to trade and when you get good at trading, you can apply to one of these firms and easily get a funded account. And the best part, as you keep having good results, the firm will keep increasing your account capital, allowing you to make more money. So guys, let me know in the comments if you trade small or big accounts and how do you feel when you trade them? Do you trade better when you risk a big percentage of your account or do you get better performance taking smaller risks? If this video was useful for you, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to get more videos like this. See you on the next one and trade safe!